What's up guys, Serge here with Swordfish Gear and Expert Marine Electronics. What I want to talk about today is these new Icom VHF radios. You're going to notice that something is a little different about them. It has to do with the way the channels are displayed on the display screen. So this is how you're, you're used to seeing the channels. This would be channel 6 for example, right? Well now as you scroll through, you're going to see some channels that are displayed like this. This would be channel seven, right? But it's actually 1007. That's how you read this. Uh, for all intents and purposes, it's still gonna be the same as channel seven was on the older VHF radio. So you'll still be able to communicate with other people the same way. However, uh, the channel designator um, was changed and some other internal cha changes were done on the way the units transmit and receive so we're gonna go through here and just so you can see other channels so for example this is 18 19 20 21 so this would be 1063 right but for all intensive purposes when we call channels on the radio we're just gonna use the big numbers here of uh, reference that as channel 63. Now we're gonna go over some of the features on this VHF radio. Uh, as you know, if you scroll left and right with the arrows, you can change the options for the soft keys on the bottom. So starting with the left, if you hit that distress button, you could categorize uh, your situation that you're having uh, and send out a distress call with additional information on it telling people what your situation is. So if you picked grounding for example it would prompt you into the next window for you to confirm to send that message. Um, right now we don't have it connected to anything else so it doesn't have this information so it's not going to let us do that. So that's a real handy feature the distress button. Uh, next will be the DSC button here you're able to call friends if you have their MMSI numbers saved in your VHF radio and you're able to either do position sends or requests, which is pretty handy. Um, you're able to report your position or request their position. Or you could call to hail somebody on the radio to talk to them. Say you wanted to call somebody on the list. So if Surge, for example, is on this radio hit that and then it would let you pick a channel to to hail them on and what it would do is it would change their radio to that channel so when you key up they could hear you this would be great for times where your friends are on the wrong channel for example um, it would still let you call them directly if you have their numbers saved in your VHF radio another handy feature there Scan uh, is great because it lets you scan various channels for radio traffic. The star here, if you put the star on that channel, it's putting it into the favorites. So say for example, channel 18, if I wanted to make that into the favorites, I could hit that, put the star in there. So when I scan, it'll scan all the channels that are labeled as favorites. That's real handy. High low power, obviously you guys know what that does. It changes the power output of the VHF radio. Always confirm that you're on high power. Unless you're talking to your buddies who are close to you, then switch to low power because you don't need to be broadcasting your conversation all the way to San Diego from LA County uh, if you don't need to. And then play. Play is a very handy feature on this radio. If a transmission came into the radio while you were scanning it and you didn't pick up all that info so you could run back to the radio and push the play button and it'll play that last transmission so you could hear what what happened it's great for emergency calls or even just people talking about fishing AIS uh, that's if you have AIS enabled on the unit and then channel or weather this gets you into the weather channels so the next set of options is the receive option. 
you can set this unit up to play um, whatever it receives through the hailer horn on the radio. Uh, it'll, it would be handy for a flybridge mounted VHF radio, for example. If you had trouble hearing it in your cockpit and you were expecting your buddy to call you, you can use that feature and then it would transmit the call over the PA radio or the PA speaker um, pretty loud. Uh, you are able to adjust the volume on it so you could you could adjust that and then you could turn the feature back off as you could tell uh, it gives you that indicator when you have that feature enabled or you want to leave it off leave it off because it could get a little annoying and then dual watch the name you could enter a custom set of text here for the name of the channel backlighting and log received call log all right guys i hope you enjoyed that actually let's get into the main menu of the radio here so when you hit the menu button it gives you those options again dsc ais hailer if you have a hailer horn connected that's pretty handy you can get on the horn and, and yell people to get farther away from your boat or not run over your line so that's pretty handy and the horn feature you could use that um, manually as well or you can set it up as a fog horn with your situation if you're underway or if you're stopped or if you're in tow uh, you could set that up for in the fog that's very handy and then aqua quake if you have this unit mounted to where water collects in the speaker you can hit that and that vibration cleans the water out of the speaker itself so it'll work better. Configuration goes into the settings. Let's turn the key beep off. That could get kind of annoying. There you go. So now we don't have that annoying key beep in the configuration side. MMSI, GPS, DSC set, radio settings. Here you can go in and adjust different settings. Your channel group, if you wanted an international channel group or Canadian, you would go there. And some other miscellaneous settings. So there you have it, guys. Hope this helps uh, give you a little better understanding on the features of these VHF radios. All right, guys, be sure to check out swordfishgear.com for some hot gear pertaining to catching swordfish. And I'll see you guys on the next one.